it's Brittany, and this week's focus is going to be on healthy snacks. I want to see if you remember what a combination food is. Well, remember, combination foods are foods that are made up of more than one food group. Combination foods can also be eaten as snacks. So, popular examples of combination snacks could include trail mix, which comes from our fruit food group for dried fruit, and you could put different nuts in the trail mix, which gives us our protein. So it's made up of more than one food group. Another popular example of a combination snack could include sandwiches. So sandwiches, the bread comes from our grain food group. You could put meat in your sandwich, which could be turkey, ham, or chicken, which comes from our protein food group. You could put dairy in your sandwich from putting cheeses on your sandwich. You could put fruit in your sandwich if you cut up some avocado and put that on your sandwich or different veggies like lettuce or onions. Along with eating healthy every single day and trying different foods from all five of our food groups, we should also remember to be physically active every single day for at least 60 minutes a day doing things that we like to do. Today we're going to play a game called Combo Phone Game. So we're going to practice doing different exercises and practice our skip counting. And I'm expecting some phone calls today from friends and family that want to share with us their favorite combination foods. But my phone is really old and the reception hasn't been so great. So some of the messages might not come out complete and I might need your help to solve what my friends and family had or their favorite combination foods or snacks. Do you think you could help me? Cool. Well, before we get our first phone call, let's start with a warm up movement. So every day when we exercise, we should start out with a warm up activity. And what a warm up movement or activity does is it lightly stretches our muscles, gets our blood pumping, and gets us breathing and moving, so that can help prevent from injuries. So today's warm-up movement, we're going to do a side step. So we're going to walk side to side, and we can keep our arms low, moving them lightly, and we're going to skip count by twos until we get to 40. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Good job, guys. And we're ready for our first phone call. Everybody say, hi, Aisha. Hey. So, Aisha wants to share what she ate today. And what food groups? Vegetable and the grain food group. So, since it comes from more than one food group, it comes from our vegetable and our grain. So, we know it's a combination food awesome oh i missed the first letter e g oh i oh no p oh this reception is horrible a oh the phone call was lost so I need help solving what she ate today. She said it came from our vegetable and grain food group. So I missed the first letter. And then there was an E, a G. And then I missed the next letter. And there was an I. And then I missed the last letter. 
So there's one, two, three, four, five, six letters in this word. And it has an E and a G and an I. I wonder what it could be. Well, she said the first word comes from the vegetable food group. What's a vegetable that has an E, G, and an I? Well, if you have more than one vegetable, you could have, let's see if our fingers can help spell out this word. With your finger, let's try to write the letter V, V, and then we know the next letter is E, and then a G, V, E, G, and then we're missing a letter. After the first G, let's put another G with our finger. And then there's an I, and let's try an E. V, E, G, G, I, E. Spells? Good job, veggie. So she had more than one vegetable, so veggie. And then the last food group was a grain, so it started with a P. Let's try A. S T A. What's that spell? Pasta. Yum. So Aisha had veggie pasta today. That sounds super, super yummy. Next exercise today is arm circles. So doing arm circles, you're going to make light circles with your arms. You can do this low. You can do it in the middle or you could do it high, however you want to move your arms. So we're gonna count, skip count by fives until we get to 60, doing arm circles. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Awesome. Work out our arms a little bit. Move them around. And we're ready for our next phone call. Let's see who it could be. Hello? Oh, it's my grandma. Everybody say hi, grandma. Hey. Oh, okay. So my grandma wants to share with us what she had for lunch today. And what food groups did you say it came from? She said protein and grain. So since it comes from more than one food group, it's a good combination food. So the protein started with C-H. Oh, no, you're breaking up. N and the grain. Oh, you broke up C-E. Well, that was a short word. Okay, oh no. Oh, so I need help solving this puzzle again. The reception was really bad and I missed some of the, the message. So she said the protein was a seven letter word that started with a CH and then I missed one, two, three, four letters, but the last letter I know ended with an N. And then she said the grain was a four-letter word that ended in a C-E. I wonder what it could be. Well, the protein is a seven-letter word that starts with a ch, C-H, and ends in a N. So... Let's try using our fingers to help solve the puzzle. C, H, let's try I, C, K, E, N. What's that spell? Chicken, good. And the grain was a four letter word 
the N of and a C E. Let's try R I C E. What's that spell? R ice. Rice. Chicken and rice. Yum. So my grandma had chicken and rice today for lunch. And the chicken comes from a protein and the rice comes from our grain food group. So yummy. Let's move on to our next exercise. All right guys, for our next exercise, we're gonna get our heart beating faster and we're gonna jog in place and we're gonna skip count by tens until we get to a hundred. Ready? 10. 20, 30, 40, fast as you can, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Whew, good job, guys. And we're already ready for our next phone call. Let's see who it is. Hello? Oh, hi, Rachel. It's my sister, Rachel. Say hi, Rachel. Hey, so she wants to share with us what she had for breakfast. And what food group? Grain. And she said it comes from the grain food group, but you could put dairy and fruit in there too. And what was it? Oh, oh no, you're breaking out tea. Oh no, L. Oh no, I lost reception again. Well, she said that it was a breakfast food that comes from the grain food group, but you could also put dairy and fruit. It's a seven letter word that starts with an O, has a T, and ends with an L. I wonder what it could be. Can you figure out what she had for breakfast? Well, let's see if we can solve using our finger letters. It starts with an O. Let's put an A. The next letter we know is a T. Then with our finger write an M, E, a, and that ends with an L. What's that spell? O-A-T-M-E-A-L. Oatmeal. Yum. All right, guys, let's go to our next exercise. Our next exercise, we're going to keep moving faster, and we're going to do jumping jacks. And we're going to count by twos. Ready? Two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Uh oh, the phone's ringing. Hello? Oh, hey. This time it's my sister Ashley. Say hi, Ashley. Hey. Oh, she wants to tell me what her favorite healthy drink is. And where did you say it came from? Oh, she said the fruit and dairy food group. Okay. And it starts with an F, R. Oh, no, you cut out. Oh, oh. You're cutting out. And an E? Oh, no. Oh, uh, she cut out. So she said it was a healthy drink that started with an FR and it was a five letter word. And then the next word is an eight letter word. And in the middle it has two O's and an E. Ooh, E. Well, the first word, F. R. Well, that looks li a lot like, let's use our fingers again to spell out to see if it will work. F, 
R U I T. What's that spell? Fruit. Okay, let's see if we can solve our last word. Well, it's an eight letter word, and it, we know that it has two O's, which make the ooh sound, and it ends in an E. Fruit. Let's see if it will work. Let's get our fingers ready to make an S. Then we'll make an M. O. O. T. H. I. And then last an E. What's that spell? I know. Smoothie. A fruit smoothie. Yum. All right. Let's go with our last activity for today. We're going to cool it down and we're going to march in place counting by our fives until we get to 60. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, take it slow, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Awesome job, guys. And we're just in time for our last phone call today. Let's see who it could be. Hello. Oh. Hey, Katie. It's my friend Katie. Oh, she wants to tell us about her healthy snack that she had today. And what food group? Fruit and protein. She said it comes from the fruit and the protein food group. So since it's more than one food group, it's a combo or combination snack. Yum. Let's see what it could be. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I, L, oh, you broke up. X. Oh, no. Well, I got part of that message. My phone was acting up. And I know the first word is a five-letter word that ends in an I-L. And then the last word was a three-letter word, and it ended in an X. So it's a healthy snack that comes from the fruit and protein food group. And I think she said the fruit was dried fruit. I wonder what it could be. First word, I, L. Well, let's see if our fingers can help solve the puzzle. Let's try a T, R, A, I, L. What's that spell? Tr, L. And the last word is a three-letter word, and it ends in an X. Let's try M, I, X. What's that spell? Mix. Trail mix. Yum. So trail mix is a combination food of dried fruit and nuts, which come from our protein food group. So, some combo foods that are healthy that I personally love to eat are veggie pizza. So, I love cheese on my pizza and mushrooms and onion on my pizza. And sometimes I like protein on my pizza, like pepperoni. I also like bean burritos, which for the tortilla shell comes from our grain food group, and the beans come from our protein. And then I also like putting fruits on my bean burrito, like avocado and dairy, like sour cream and cheese. What kind of combination foods do you like to eat? Do you have any favorites? That sounds super yummy. Do you have any combination foods that you like to eat as snacks? That sounds delicious. 
Thank you for joining us on our game, Combo Phone Game, and I appreciate your help in helping solve the message codes of my friends and family that wanted to share with us their favorite combination foods. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.